Oh yes, I'm coming to you with the latest from uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Actually, more good news coming in from uh, the UPDF camp in the Democratic Republic of Congo indicates that um, UPDF has again put out of action 16 ADF rebels in the Operation Shuja that is going on right there in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Operation Shuja started last year. It was November and uh, up to now, UPDF is still chasing these ADF rebels right there in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, they also managed to capture three ADF rebels alive and uh, rescued eight children uh, during this operation. It should also be remembered that um, in the last two weeks, UPDF also rescued 18 children and that means they have managed to rescue 32 children in a period of just three weeks. Yes, just three weeks they have managed to rescue 32 children. I mean, that is a very good job. Well done. And I think we need to give credit to this guys of UPDF, you know, for whatever that they are doing right there. And um, uh, some Ugandans are suggesting that we should send our UPDF boys to Ukraine because, I mean, they, they are very well trained. They are doing a good job in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So, you know, some Ugandans feel like uh, they can defend Ukraine from Russia, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you, some Ugandans are serious about this one, but I think this is on a lighter note. Anyway, in other news, court in the Democratic Republic of Congo has sentenced to death a man who has been recruiting children into this rebel group ADF. Yes, Allied Democratic Forces. Now, this guy is called uh, Jonathan Kasereka Malamu and uh, he admitted that um, it's true he has been sending children to the leaders of the ADF rebel group in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Actually, this is not the first guy to be sentenced to death. Uh, many have been sentenced to death, especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, cases of children being recruited in the ADF rebel group lately have been common and uh, this is something that Uganda and that the Democratic Republic of Congo are working hand in hand to make sure that uh, they bring it to an end because this is becoming a very serious issue and uh, both governments are working hand in hand to make sure that they bring it to an end. Yeah, so that is the latest from uh, the UPDF and definitely I'll keep you posted because I promise to keep you posted on whatever that is happening in the Democratic Republic of Congo. What you have to do is subscribe to the Bazuji in case you haven't and also do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank Thank you.